Semaphore signals are normally left at danger. This is a safety precaution following an accident in the early days of railways, when signals left it clear, iced up and couldn't be changed to danger. Semaphore signals are controlled manually by a signalman, who sets them to clear when a train is due and returns them to danger after the train has passed. This video shows how to automate the earlier version of the DAPL semaphore signal using our AirDask DSS. The earlier DAPL signal has four wires. Red and black for 12 volts power and two yellow wires to connect to a push button. When the button is pressed, the signal changes aspect. Our AirDask DSS does the job of the push button switch automatically. The AirDask DSS is positioned after the signal. When it detects a train, it returns the signal to danger. The signal shares the 12 volt supply with the AirDask DSS. The positive goes in this terminal and the negative in that terminal. These terminals are labelled plus and not V. The yellow wires, which were intended for the push button, go into this terminal and this terminal. These are labelled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. So it goes into D and D for the yellow wires. Now the ADAS DSS also needs to know when the train's approaching. And this white wire tells it when the train's approaching. The white wire goes to terminal H. The signal can be powered from a separate power supply. This A.1 alerts the AirDash DSS of an approaching train via the white wire. The white wire goes into terminal 2. If we had more than one signal along the line, we would use another AirDash DSS or AirDash 3 instead. Either of these will both return a signal to danger and set the next signal to clear. Detected by the A.1 detected by the ADAS DSS. We have set up this demonstration to show how everything works, but our boards are intended to be concealed under the baseboard with the infrared detectors between the sleepers. Our boards with built-in infrared detection come in two versions, standard and EW. The standard version has the infrared detectors soldered to the underside of the board. The EW version extended wire has infrared detectors on 18 inch wires. We use these in the video so we could detect the sides of the trains. Normally the infrared detectors fit between the sleepers. The ADAS DSS can be interlocked to points, interlocked to the next block section and display a block occupied LED. This will be explained in a video about the AirDash 3.